Dr. Bhuneshwari. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, fertility and uh, menstrual hygiene. We all know uh, women has two types of uh, discharges uh, coming from private parts. So one is a regular um, uh, white discharge, another one is menstrual flow. So during these conditions, uh, women tend to use uh, different materials. Generally, it is used to proper sanitary pads which are really organic and uh, doesn't have any chemicals. But uh, in a practical uh, thing, we can't really say uh, which is uh, correct, which is wrong or which has more uh, toxins. Definitely, we can't uh, find out. So, it is why we say that uh, use a proper uh, cloth also, it is not a problem, but don't reuse. Even if they use, they have to dry it in sunlight and then uh, do it. These are the main uh, basic uh, things. All women uh, generally what they feel is during the menses they won't take bath in certain cultural conditions. Uh, they always respect that and they get isolated but they will not be able to have uh, access to the uh, bathing and uh, hygiene uh, conditions. This is also one of the major issue in our country and many uh, neighboring countries also we have seen it is all the more worst. In developing countries uh, the hygiene is very poor that is why we are able to see fertility. So when uh, when I'm talking about hygiene, why we are uh, saying that that the fertility? Because hygiene is directly proportionate to the fertility status. Women uh, fertility is mainly uh, the tubes, ovaries, uterus. So usually these infections always come through the vagina, in, go into the uterus and affect the tubes. So in that situation, the tube is very very important for fertility. Again, uterine factor also is important. So that is called endometritis. Another infection is called pelvic inflammatory disease. So before that, they will start having bacterial vaginosis that is very common in the uh, younger age group. We see uh, many women coming with the uh, foul smelling discharges and uh, they will be having severe abdominal pain. That is why we say that the hygiene is very important and also our immun immunity that is protection from our side. We have to have a proper immunity from our side, then we can fight against these infections. These are the two uh, balancing act. One is that having a proper immunity from our side. Second one is preventing the infection coming from outside. So uh, we have seen some studies, I can quote some studies. They have done in developing countries where they have seen even in a women who are delivered, if they don't maintain the personal hygiene, during delivery or after delivery that itself affects almost twice the number of uh, infertility cases secondary infertility that is called secondary infertility people have everything normal they are conceived and delivered but after that because of this uh, during delivery process if they don't maintain the hygiene process and they will develop a secondary infertility for which they have to go for a IVF so this is again tells us that that hygiene directly proportional to the fertility status. That is why we advise use a proper sanitary pads, dispose it properly, don't reuse it and or if you are using cloth material, please dry it in sunlight and uh, use it in a sterile conditions or store it in a sterile conditions. Uh, this is my sincere advice. So the prevention is always better. So we can't uh, definitely go on uh, getting treatment antibiotic after antibiotic. Uh, still that infection damage is already occurred which cannot be reversed. That is a very important point I would like to highlight here and uh, always go to a gynecologist, get a proper advice and get it treated in the early stage itself. Thank you.